Hey everyone, thanks for checking out You Launch Golf Fitness. So today I wanna to talk about creating more separation, right? If you wanna create more speed, if you wanna create more distance, if you want a more efficient golf swing, you've gotta be able to separate. And the key to separating is your ability to disassociate your lower body from your upper body, or your upper body from your lower body. Today I'm gonna to focus on disassociating your hips. So your hip rotation, disassociating that from your torso rotation, okay? Now, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm always talking about getting assessed. And so for this, it's a simple assessment, it's called the pelvic rotation test. I'll leave the video down in the link, but it's so simple that I'm gonna show it to you really quick. All I want you to do, get into golf posture, hands across your chest. Are you able to rotate your hips without your upper body moving, okay? The only key really to this is that it shouldn't be a, a lateral sway. It should be hip rotation, okay? So can you rotate your hips without your upper body moving? Now, this exercise isn't gonna affect whether or not you can do that because I'll show you uh, how you can stabilize yourself with a golf club for this, but it's always key to understand what your physical limitations are, and if that's an issue, this is a great exercise to work on that. If it's not an issue, this is a great exercise to add some resistance to that and create more range of motion and more strength within your hip rotation. So, all you need for this is a resistance band. Now, it's gotta be a half inch or a quarter inch band. Anything more than that is gonna be too much resistance and you're gonna have a hard time getting it twisted around you. And I'll show you how that works in a second. I've got mine just uh, anchored to a window. You can anchor it to the door. If you're in the gym, you can anchor it to a cable machine. Just stick the pin all the way underneath so that all the weight's on there, so that the weight's not moving up and down. But all you're gonna do for this is you're going to just bring one leg into the resistance band. And you're gonna get it set up nice and tight up in there. Guys, let's be careful. Make sure you get set up right. So one leg, it's pulling me back. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to twist the band around me, okay? And now what's happening is this, this resistance band is pulling my right hip into external rotation. So I'm resisting it with internal rotation. Now, I'm just going to perform those hip rotations back and forth keeping my upper body still. So, if you had an issue with the pelvic rotation test, all you need to do, I've got a driver here, press down lightly, create that stabilization in your upper body so that your upper body doesn't move, and perform the same hip rotation exercises, okay? So when I perform it this way, again, the band's pulling this hip into external rotation, so it's creating a little bit more range of motion in that, in that external rotation, and it's adding resistance to my internal rotation. So it's actually uh, strengthening my internal rotation. So eight to 10 reps, switch legs. And now, now you'll be able to see this from behind. So again, this band is pulling this hip. It's pulling that hip into external rotation. I'm resisting with internal rotation. So again, same thing. Just focus on rotating those hips. Eight to 10 reps. Now, those were pulling me into external rotation. Sorry, Mike. Those were pulling me into external rotation and increasing the internal rotation resistance. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip around. And twist up in this. And now you can see that this band is pulling me into internal rotation. So it's helping me create more range of motion in internal rotation and it's increasing the resistance of my external rotation. So it's just the opposite of what we were doing, but we're still working on disassociating those hips. Eight to 10 reps, flip around. 
And now from the front, you can see that band pulling me into internal rotation here. And I'm resisting, creating more resistance for my external rotation. Eight to 10 reps. All right, so a great resistance band exercise that you can do at home or in the gym that's gonna help you with your disassociation, which is gonna help you create more separation, which is gonna to lead to uh, bigger speeds, longer drives, and a more efficient golf swing. Now, if you know anybody, you know another golfer that could use this and find it helpful, please share it with them. I'd appreciate it, they'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I appreciate you checking out the video, and I'll see you next Monday for a new golf fitness video. Take it easy.